Hi, welcome to Talking and Reading from Japan. I'm your host, Hidemi Woods. Here, I read an episode from the books I wrote and talk about it or anything that just pops up in my mind. I hope you enjoy. Today, I'll read an episode from one of my books titled An Old Tree in Kyoto. Today's episode is called A Toy Shoe Shop. This is about the toy my uncle bought me one last time. A toy shoe shop. Most of the stuffed animals and the toys I had in my childhood came from my uncle. He bought something for me every chance he got. When he got married, he left our house and moved into his new house that my grandfather built for him. But he frequently dropped by our place, mostly to have lunch cooked by my grandmother. One day, he came into the house cheerfully, calling out my name. He took me to his car and told me to get in. I hesitated because I'd never gone out with him. I asked him where we were going. And he proudly declared that he would buy me any toy I wanted today. I felt extremely nervous right away. Although I had been surrounded by the toys he gave me, I had never shopped with him. Also, I had never been in his car before. Above all, his offer sounded desperate since I knew he had started drifting jobs again. In his car, I was even sure that we weren't headed for a toy store but somewhere else. So, I was confused when we arrived at a small toy shop, actually. He told me to choose whatever I wanted in the shop. It would be a dream moment for an ordinary kid, but for me, who had known my uncle, it was simply a bad omen. I reluctantly looked around the shop and found the toy I'd wanted for a long time. It was a shoe shop of Rika's mom. Rika was a Japanese version of Barbie doll, and I used to play with the doll all the time. Rika's mother was said to run a shoe shop, and the toy had a shoe display case filled with fancy shoes for Rika. Seeing my pick, my uncle said, That's it? I said whatever, and you didn't choose an expensive one. You're a fool. Since it was exactly what I wanted, I didn't change my pick. And he bought it for me. On our way home, I was still certain something bad would follow, but nothing happened. He came to buy me a toy, and that was all. And that was the last time he gave me a toy, as he became a father of two shortly afterward. I wasted a golden opportunity to shop around toys for my negative mindset. That was today's episode. My uncle, with whom I lived for about、um, eight years, left home when he got married. But、um, 
his house that my grandfather bought for him was not far from our house. His house was located about a、uh, 15 minute ride by,、uh, by car. So, not me, but my father, that was my uncle's brother, elder brother, and、uh, my father、uh, often visited him. And、uh, my uncle also、uh, came back to our house quite often and、uh, visited us. Just、uh, Visit. But、um, his whole family visited our house once in, uh, uh, in two weeks. Every two weeks, they visited us. But more often, my uncle visited our house by himself <coughs> almost. Mm, uh, not every day, but、uh, three times a week or something like that. And so I didn't need to miss him because I saw his face too often.、Um, he.、Um, Came to our house mainly at lunchtime. He,、um, he, had, he didn't have lunch at his workplace, but instead he、uh, came to our house and ate his lunch at the dining table of ours. And、uh, basically, my grandmother cooked lunch for him. But sometimes he、uh, brought a lunchbox that his wife had fixed in the morning. Even so, he didn't、um, have that lunchbox at the workplace, but at our Dining room, and uh, uh, he would have <clears throat> the lunch box, the lunch out of the lunch box that his wife fixed. And、uh, <clears throat> my grandmother was around him, serving him tea, and uh, uh, Not that much, but a little bit chattering. And I think I, at first, I thought he, my uncle was always short of money. He wasn't a rich man. And so I thought、um, he had lunch. In our house, because he somehow tried to save his lunch money. Because it was a free lunch for him when my grandmother cooked out of foods、um, in, our, in the fridge of our house. So I thought he was stingy, and、uh, that's why he had lunch in our house. But later on, I began to think he just loved our house, he missed it so much. And、uh, he also wanted to see my grandmother 
which uh, who was of course my uncle's mother he wanted to have lunch with his mother not with his colleagues at his work place and that's the main reason he frequently visited our house he just missed his um, house and family before his marriage so um, I think although he was always um, uh, short of money and had troubles a uh, sudden amount of troubles financially he wasn't a stingy man like my grandfather uh, because I knew uh, most of my toys I had in my childhood was from my uncle every chance he got he bought something for me um, as long as I remembered every almost everything was something my uncle bought for me for instance when he uh, took a trip with his friends or something then he bought um, a doll or a stuffed animal out there and uh, gave it to me so the main souvenir of his trips was always for me something for me it's so strange because uh, talking here about him um, must sound he was such a um, nice man nevertheless uh, when I lived with him I had always disliked him he was too annoying to me because he um, he was uh, um, um, too noisy and too unsophisticated and um, he was talking too many jokes and uh, um, uh, uh, almost every time he talked something um, he brought some sort of troubles into the house like even when he was he just fooled around and um, he was telling us some jokes <clears throat> my grandparents who raised me they were so strict too strict to understand his jokes um, they rarely laughed at them even so my uncle continued kept trying jokes on them and they ignored and not uh, let alone ignored they got um, sullen angry even and uh, my grandmother especially she was a, a, a formidable woman who never never appreciated a joke 
I myself、um, have tried a joke to her for a couple of times, but each time、uh, it miserably、uh, failed because my grandmother. Didn't understand a concept of jokes. She just, when she heard a joke, she got,、um, she got so、uh, unpleasant and angry and sullen and Really,、uh, she just hated listening or hearing any joke. Jokes made her so、uh, uncomfortable. And she just got so frustrated and irritated. When someone told her a joke. So we,、uh, living with her, we were able to learn、uh, not to tell her a joke. But for some reason, my uncle kept telling her a joke or fooling around her. And each time, She was quite upset and looked disappointed at my uncle. And uh,、um, beside the jokes, my uncle often brought us a trouble, something bad. Came from my uncle too often. And、uh, because I was too little to know exactly what was what they were about, but sometimes my grandparents wept at his. At my uncle's bad news that he had brought in, or they just got so mad or so angry at him when they heard something from him. So, mainly because of,、uh, mainly those were、uh, my, uh, my uncle's own decisions. Something about his、mm, decisions about his life, and my grandparents disagreed, and that brought them so <clears throat> unpleasant moments. And they often、uh, argued. So Every time my uncle did something or、uh, got a move, I felt alarmed because I had learned that as a child.、Um, my uncle's act. Tended to bring、um, something bad to our family. So I had a、um, habit to be so cautious about my uncle's moves. 
And so when my uncle uh, came into my house calling my name and uh, told me that he was going to buy any toy I wanted. Of course, naturally, I was very, very alarmed. Something bad suddenly would follow this action of his. I was almost scared what was going to happen. And uh, I remembered um, all the way during this shopping occasion with him, I was so nervous, so tense, because I was certain that something terrible would would be going to happen next because this was my uncle's move and I got involved with his action this time alone. I was scared what happened to me. What he was going to do to me. I mean, he was a nice man, so he never intentionally did harm to anyone. But as a result, he did um, unintentionally, he ended up doing something wrong to someone was his karma, I guess. And so I was very worried about what happened. So I didn't, I couldn't enjoy that uh, day with my uncle at the mom and pop toy store. And I picked the Rika's mom's um, shoe shop set. Was a um, very cute set uh, with a, a beautiful clear display case filled with small doll-sized shoes, uh, colorful shoes. Many many pairs were in that display case. And I really had wanted uh, it for uh, quite some time. And that small shop happened to carry it. And uh, I jumped on it and I picked it. And he, my uncle laughed at it because probably it wasn't that Expensive. It was a, a, a relatively cheap one, cheap toy. So he was laughing and uh, he was pointed at me saying, you are, uh, you are losing, uh, you're missing, a losing good, a good opportunity to get anything. You are throwing away. He laughed, but um, I, I just couldn't wipe out uh, an idea that something existed behind this toy shopping. Something but would suddenly come to me when I finished 
getting this toy. I just couldn't get rid of that sense. But、um, after all, nothing happened. He just bought me a toy, that's all. Maybe it was his payday that day, and he was、um, in a good mood, and he wanted to get by、um, something. And、uh, I,、um, in his mind, I was popped up, and he decided to get something for me. It was as simple as that, but I was too cautious to lose my golden opportunity to get one expensive big toy for me. It was,、um, it was a shame that I missed. That opportunity, but、uh, that shoe shop set of Rika's mom was what I really wanted that time. So, and I, my uncle bought it, I got it eventually. So, That was、uh, not that、um, failure. I assume I can say that was a success. Well, that was all for today. Thanks for listening. I'm Hidemi Woods. I hope you. Join me again soon. Thanks. Until next time, take care and be well.